also decided to honor 30 stars of Ukraine. And the criteria was, this was not a competition, this was not a contest, because like there are countless stars in the sky, there are probably countless stars in Ukraine. The criteria were very simple. They had to be citizens of Ukraine. They had to, during this period of independence, have reached some level of success in whatever field they were engaged in, and through their success, contributed to a positive image of, of Ukraine. So now I'm gonna ask Angela Howard and Lane Johansson to take it away and talk about our Stars of Ukraine awards. I will start with our first star, who is Major General Volodymyr Havrilov. Major General Havrilov has served as the Ukrainian Defense Attaché to the US from 2015 to 2018. He is currently director of the Veterans Dozen Foundation, which promotes the rehabilitation of wounded soldiers through sport. Next, we have Live UA Map, Live Universal Awareness Map, is a global news and information site that delivers world news via maps. Founded in 2014 to track the Euromaidan revolution, the, pro the project evolved with Russian aggression in Crimea and Donbass and has since expanded to include conflicts around the world. Live UA Map has been used by the UK and Dutch foreign ministries, Doctors Without Borders, and experts addressing the UN Security Council. Next, we have Oksana Linyev, our esteemed guest who will present a brief concert following an in-depth focus on our first three set of star spotlights, the first three guests we've introduced. Um, Oksana Linyev is the founder and artistic director of Lviv Moz Art Festival and the first female chief conductor of the Graz Opera and Philharmonic Orchestra. Our next star is Yana Zinkevich, who has been a People's Deputy of Ukraine since 2019 and currently serves as chairman of the Temporary Special Commission on the Legal Status of War Veterans. She is also a member of the interparliamentary groups with the United States, Canada, Italy, Georgia, and Lithuania. Zinkevich cons consistently stands up for the rights of veterans and the disabled, as well as women's issues and national health care policy. At age 19, when the war in Donbass began, Yana Zinkevich volunteered to go to the front and founded the Hospitalierity Medical Battalion which has saved thousands of Ukrainian army soldiers and volunteer fighters. Zinkevich, now 26, is one of the recipients of the Ukrainian Order of Merit. Miroslav Marinovich, Vice Rector of the Ukrainian Catholic University, is widely recognized as one of Ukraine's leading public intellectuals and one of the country's most respected moral authorities. He was a charter member of the Ukrainian Helsinki Committee, for which he served 10 years as a prisoner of conscience including seven years at the Perm 36 Soviet labor camp. In 1991, Murinovich founded Amnesty International in Ukraine. Since 1997, he has been a director of the Institute of Religion and Society and the Religious Information Service of Ukraine. Murinovich is a prolific writer who has offered numerous essays and books on the defiance of tyranny, demagoguery, and extremism. He has also co-authored many important declarations including the 2013 Statement of Defiance to the Yanukovych Regime. Today, Murinovich is an honorary president of PEN Ukraine. Olegsei Haran is Professor of Comparative Politics at the National University of Kiev Mohila Academy. He was among the first group of faculty members at the university after its re-establishment in 1991. And in 2002, he established the School of Political Analysis at the National University of Kiev Mohila Academy. From 2005 to 2006, Haran was the regional vice president of the Eurasia Foundation for Ukraine, Belarus, and Moldova. He has also served since 2015 as scientific director at the Democratic Initiatives Foundation, a leading Ukrainian analytical and sociological think tank. Haran is Ukraine's foremost political scientist and most visible presenter in international scholarly conferences. Our next star is Serhii Plohi, the Mikhailo Hrushevsky Professor of Ukrainian History at Harvard University. Since 2013, he has served as the director of the Harvard Univer Ukrainian Research Institute, where he leads a group of scholars working on MAPA, the Digital Atlas of Ukraine, which is an online geographic information system-based project. 
Plahi is the author of numerous books, including The Last Empire, which received the 2015 Lionel Gelber Prize for the world's best nonfiction book on international relations, and Chernobyl, which was awarded the Bailey Gifford Prize in 2018. Our next star is Serhii Jadan, who is a poet from Donbass. Jadan is considered one of the most provocative new writers in Ukraine. His boundary-pushing pieces are often critical of the remnants of post-Soviet attitudes in contemporary Ukrainian society. In December 2019, the Pen America Literary Awards shortlisted Jadan in the category Translated Poetry. The translated version of his book of poems, What We Live For, What We Die For, which was published by Yale University Press, was included in the New York Times 2019 book review. Jadan has received numerous awards, including the 2016 Award of the President of Ukraine, Ukrainian Book of the Year, and most recently, the 2021 Derek Walcott Prize for Poetry in the United States. Oksana Zabushko is a novelist, poet, essayist, and one of the most translated writers among contemporary Ukrainian authors. In 1992, she taught at Penn State University as a visiting writer. Zabushko also won a Fulbright scholarship in 1994 and taught Ukrainian literature at Harvard and the University of Pittsburgh. Her first novel, Fieldwork in Ukrainian Sex, was published in 1996 and met with great controversy. Fieldwork in Ukrainian Sex became an international phenomenon and was later named the most influential Ukrainian book for the 15 years of independence. Today, it is included in many lists of modern Eastern European classics. Our next star is Stanislav Isayev, a journalist and novelist from Donetsk who reported on developments in his occupied city beginning in 2014. His articles were published by Ukrainska Pravda, Mir Weekly, and Radio for Europe, Radio Liberty. In June 2017, Isayev was kidnapped by militants and despite an international free Isayev campaign, sentenced to 15 years in prison on charges of espionage. He was illegally imprisoned for 962 days, most of which he spent in isolation, until he was released in a bilateral exchange of prisoners in December 2019. Since then, Isayev has been a prominent social and political activist, and last year he spoke at the Council of Europe and the Munich Security Conference. Earlier this year, Stanislav Isayev was awarded the prestigious Taras Shevchenko National Prize for his book In Isolation. Alia Sinsov is an activist and cinematographer from Crimea. In 2014, he helped deliver food and supplies to Ukrainian servicemen trapped in Crimean bases. He was arrested in May of 2014 and sentenced to 20 years in prison for plotting terrorist acts. Sinsov spent five years in a Russian prison and was released in September of 2019 in a high-profile prisoner swap. Since then, he has returned to making movies with his most recent film, Rhino, portraying the crime-ridden world of Ukraine in the 1990s. Ada Rogotyevsa is a popular theater and cinema actress who has appeared in over 30 films and television shows since 1957. She is also a professor at the Kyiv National University of Arts and Culture. Rogotyevsa was awarded the title Hero of Ukraine in 2007. She is featured in the recent documentary, Win from the East, which follows the trips of Ukrainian artists to the front lines. Rogotyevsa gave concerts for soldiers and organized fundraising for a hospital for the Ukrainian military. In September of 2015, a criminal case was opened in Russia for her efforts in assisting the Ukrainian military, and Rogotyevsa was sentenced in absentia to three years in prison and declared a persona non grata in Russia. Next, we have Kazka, the pop and electro folk band who emerged in 2017 with their song Sviata, which they performed in Ukraine's X Factor. In 2018, Kazka was named Breakthrough of the Year at the M1 Music Awards. Their 2018 song, Wakala, became the first Ukrainian language video to get over 200 million views on YouTube, and it's now over 397 million views. This year, lead singer Alexandra Zaritska competed on Ukraine's Dancing with the Stars. 
Susanna Jamaladinova, better known by her stage name Jamala, is a famous singer, songwriter, actress, and activist of the Crimean Tartar community. She represented Ukraine and won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2016 with her song 1944, which is about the deportation of Crimean Tartars in 1944. Jamala was then awarded the title of People's Artist of Ukraine by President Petro Poroshenko. In 2017, 2018, and 2019, Jamala was a judge at Ukraine's national selection for the Eurovision contest. Jamala also competed on Ukraine's Dancing with the Stars this year. Julia Devi is a pioneer in the world of sustainable fashion, a wave maker here in the United States, and the designer and founder of a 3D printed fashion lab, the first 3D printed clothing manufacturer model in the United States. Her designs produce zero waste and are both recyclable and biodegradable. Among other accolades, Devi was awarded the 2019 Alex Awards title of Best Luxury Fashion Brand. Her skirts were featured in Vogue UK's Must Have List, and technology headlines included Devi in OP 10 Fastest Growing Fashion and Apparel Solution Providers to watch in 2019. In March of 2020, Julia and Vitaly Devi set the Guinness World Record for largest 3D printed flag with their 15.57 square meter print of the American flag. Light Balance is a high-tech neon and LED dance troupe from Dnipro that won third place on America's Got Talent in 2017 when they received a golden buzzer from Tyra Banks and advanced straight to the live shows. Light Balance has since performed with artists including Derek Hugh and Jesse J. The dance troupe was also a semi-finalist on Britain's Got Talent and DOS Super Talent. Light Balance is the first act in Got Talent history to receive the golden buzzer on both America's Got Talent and one of the international versions of the franchise. Our next star is Vic Birki, an internationally known juggler and Cirque du Soleil performer who has been performing on stage since he was six years old. He's won awards at most of the world's major circus festivals, including the International Circus Festival in Monte Carlo and Cirque du Demain in Paris. Victor Guy is the founder and creative director of Art Vision Production, an entertainment and consulting company. In 2014, he founded the Victor Guy Foundation, a nonprofit organization with a charity mission of bringing performing arts education to impoverished children and communities. Simia Simonova is the most viewed sand artist on the internet. She is the winner of Ukraine's Got Talent, as well as a, bold, a golden buzzer and top three act of both America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent. Simonova has performed her sand animation in more than 70 countries and before numerous presidents and royalty, including the Queen of Denmark, members of the royal family of Great Britain, and the presidents of Ukraine, Poland, Russia, Kazakhstan, and Turkey. Her act is the only one that has received two golden buzzers on two different The Champions series of the Got Talent franchise. Ivan Marchuk is a contemporary Ukrainian painter who has produced over 4,000 works in his lifetime, half of which are located outside of Ukraine. He was harassed by the KGB and prevented from participating in exhibitions or selling his work in the Soviet Union, but soon achieved prominence in independent Ukraine. Maruchuk is an honored artist of Ukraine, a laureate of the Shevchenko National Prize, and an honored citizen of Ternopil and Kyiv. In 2007, Maruchuk was included in the British ranking 100 Geniuses of Today, hosted by the Daily Telegraph. Ksenia Schneider is a Kiev-based sustainable fashion brand established in 2011 to create iconic pieces from upcycled denim. The, band produces, the brand produces about 3,000 reworked items each year. Global recognition from for Ksenia Schneider came in 2016 when Ksenia designed the Demi Denims, a half-short, half-pants design that went viral after appearing in street-style images and worn by celebrities including Celine Dion and Bella Hadid. The brand shocked the internet again in 2019 with its launch of asymmetrical jeans. Sold in 16 countries, Ksenia Schneider is also a pioneer of online retail. 
Beauty Kin inspires, draws inspiration for her fashion line, Beauty Kin, from her Ukrainian heritage, incorporating traditional designs into popular modern fashion, especially drawing inspiration from Vishivanka designs. Kin's label explore, exploded in a matter of, matter of weeks following the 2014 Russian invasion. Very quickly, outlets from Vogue to ID were covering the label and its heritage, and in 2014, the Wall Street Journal named her dresses the hit of the summer. The authentic details such as embroidery and applique, bright colors, and traditional shapes in addition to modern touches create interesting exclusive pieces worn by top global stars, including Adele and Demi Moore. Marina Vasileva is the owner and designer of Polardi Fashion Group, founded in 2012, which designs and creates wedding dresses. Polardi is the largest wedding fashion brand in Ukraine, features in 80 partner countries, and supports the largest factory in Europe for sewing wedding dresses, located in Ukraine. Vasileva has also developed a cluster of related wedding companies, which implement common projects and promote Ukrainian products abroad, working to draw the world wedding industry to Ukraine. Next, we have Valery Sushkevich, president of the National Paralympic Paralympic Committee of Ukraine. A former Soviet champion in swimming, Sushkevich served as one of the founders of the Paralympic sports in the former USSR and Ukraine, and has personally participated in a, as a Paralympic athlete in swimming, shooting, powerlifting, and alpine skiing. Using his position, Sushkevich has advocated for the disabled communities of Ukraine legally, competitively, and in the realm of publicity. Our next star is Andriy Shevchenko, former head coach of the Ukraine national football team. He is ranked in the all-time top 10 goal scorers in all European competitions and is the all-time top scorer for the Ukrainian national team. Shevchenko led Ukraine as a captain to the quarterfinals in their first ever FIFA World Cup appearance in 2006 and also played in UEFA Euro 2012. From 2016 to 2021, Shevchenko was the Ukraine national team's head coach and led the nation to the quarterfinals at the UEFA Euro 2020. Professional boxer Alexander Usyk is a world champion in two weight classes, one of only three boxers to have unified the cruiserweight world titles and become a world heavyweight champion. Usyk was named 2018 Fighter of the Year by ESPN, Sports Illustrated, the Ring, and the Boxing Writers Association of America. He is ranked as the world's second best active boxer, pound for pound, by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board. Next, we have Maxim Kripak, a Paralympic swimmer from Kharkiv, who has won 15 Paralympic medals in his career, making him the most successful Paralympian in Ukraine. For his efforts at the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio, during which he won five gold medals and broke two world records, Kripak was honored with the Order of Merit of Ukraine and re received the Strong Spirit Prize at Ukraine's 2016 Heroes of the Sports Year Awards. This year at the Paralympic Games in Tokyo, Kripak won seven medals and broke world records in the 100-meter backstroke, 100-meter butterfly, and 100-meter freestyle events, becoming the most decorated swimmer at the 2020 Paralympics. In September of this year, President Zelensky awarded Maxim Kripak the title Hero of Ukraine. Max Polyakov is an international space and information technology entrepreneur who has founded a number of companies, including Firefly Aerospace, Cupid, and Renatus. NASA has awarded Firefly Aerospace over $100 million for various satellite and technology deliveries to space including a planned mission to the moon in 2023. Bolyakov is also a general partner in the venture fund Noosphere Venture Partners, and he works to leverage businesses, technologies, and partnerships to build a sustainable future. Victoria Riepa is co-founder and CEO of Kiev-based BetterMe, a leading health and fitness platform with over 100 million downloads that is available in 190 countries. She's been included in Forbes 30 Under 30 and is an official member of the Forbes Tech Council. 
Victoria Riepa is also an Apple Entrepreneur Camp alum. Next, we have Kiev-based Reface, an app that uses AI-powered deepfake technology to create face swap videos. Reface was temporarily ranked number one in the entertainment section of the U.S. App Store and second in the overall free apps category on the U.S. App Store. The app has been downloaded over 100 million times and featured in Forbes, and among the top celebrity refacers are Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Snoop Dogg, and Dua Lipa. In 2020, Reface received a $5.5 million investment from Andreessen Horowitz, one of the world's leading venture capital firms. Our final star of Ukraine is Grammarly, a Ukrainian origin, American headquartered online writing assistant with offices in Kiev, New York, Vancouver, and San Francisco. Launched in 2009, Grammarly uses AI to improve English grammar, editing, and communication. Last month, the company raised $200 million in funding and catapulted to a $13 billion valuation. Grammarly ranks among industry leaders on the Forbes Cloud 100 list and the Software Report's top 100 software companies. And Grammarly has been recognized by Fast Company as one of the world's most innovative AI companies. And now by executive order of our president, Nadia McConnell, we are also adding three additional stars. So the past three years, best born cadets of the United Kingdom's Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst have each been Ukrainian officers. This award, the International Sword, recognizes the cadets who are not British nationals with the best overall performance in military, academic, and practical studies. In 2019, this honor went to Artem Boronyenko. In 2020, to Anton Savienko. And this year, to Pavel Lacy. Congratulations to these three Ukrainian officer cadets on their important achievements.